Alright, five seconds. Let's get a read down other rosters here. Over on Blood Eagle, this is Ultra Force Raiders. We have Half Alien, Ween, Sake, Tiki, Ak. Akitu, Prison Breaker, and Rita. Over on Diamond Sword, this is La Chupacabra. We have Tejester, Ash the Stampede, Vagrant, Prag, Malice, Dreamer, Dark, and Fooms. I think that's Fumigators. Either way, let's see what's going on over here. It looks like Fooms actually coming out here way out towards the right to cover his Capper Dreamer, maybe? No, actually, Dreamer is running Infiltrator, so they're coming out here. It looks like the Capper might be setting up here on the right side of the Diamond Sword map. There he is. Yeah, they're going to come over here doing a really nice play, making sure that the Sniper isn't on Sniper Hill, and Pragmalis has enough time to get over here and get on his route before getting harassed by that Sniper. See here, Rita actually is opting to go on top of the stand, so we're going to see Ultra Force Raiders keeping all their D nice and clumped up. Let's we'll see if Ghost is able to take advantage of that. All the turrets and everything going up right now. The gens have gone down for Lechu Pacaba, but they are still up for Ultra Force Raiders. The Shield is down there. Here comes Pragmalis. Pragmalis is going to make it out clean with full HP. Looks like he is also running Pathfinder, so he's going to have a lot of speed. Rita unable to get any snipes on him. We'll have to see Ultra Force Raiders. Tiki comes in, makes that grab off of that route, so he's out, but he's out with a l very, very little HP. See here, he's here with about a quarter HP. Goes to Dark coming in from behind. Let's take a look at him. He's going to be taking some shots here at Half Alien. Going to hit the turret tower, though lose some of his speed. He's coming in now trying to get a last shot here on Tiki. On the other side the flag does get returned by Ultra Force Raiders. Rita now picks it up here and this could be the first point to Jester coming up. Uh, is he going to be able to make a play? Doesn't look like it. No, Rita is going to be able to make that cap and Ultra Force Raiders is going to be on the first point here in this game on Arx Novena. So, nice play there. Unfortunately missing the return but Ultra Force Raiders having enough offense over there it looks like to get that return after we saw Pragmalis make it out with a lot of HP, make it all the way back home relatively clean. Right now we have a lot of people on Ultra Force Raiders flag stand doing a good job of making sure that there's no incoming cappers before they go on route. Now we have Half Alien over here still in Pathfinder. Not sure if this is part of a D stack or if Half Alien is still running on the offensive side just trying to help out his defense. Not a lot of offense coming over here though from La Chupacabra. We see again here all the offense for La Chupacabra coming up on Snipe Hill. Of course, Rita hasn't been going on Snipe Hill yet. He's right now on top of the base. The gens are back up for La Chupacabra, so, or for Ultra Force Raiders, so it looks like they're running a bit of a D-stack here as there's not a lot of action going on over here. Ween trying to make some plays here with that mortar. Here comes Pragmalis now coming into a very well-defended flag stand. Half Alien over here trying to take out Tejester. Tejester cleans up this flag stand. Pragmalis is going to make it out again with full HP. So right now, Chupacaba really able to get a good clear despite the fact that there is a D-stack happening here from Ultra Force Raiders and no one here on the offense to make an E-grab and there's the cap. Going to be a tie game here. Now here comes Tiki. He's coming into a full flag stand. No, Half Alien's actually going to grab it. Gets returned though and Tiki is not going to be able to make a play off that. He gets demolished on the stand. Flag stays home for Team Chupacabra and we'll have to see how these guys reset here. And we still see gens are still up for Ultra Force Raiders. Oh no, they're actually playing down a man right now. Maybe this is part of the reason why they're trying to keep the gens up. Get some of those turrets in action here. Aki is the one running technician getting those turrets back up. They are up right now and also getting upgraded right now to level 1. The front turret is at least probably going to be going to level 2 here shortly. The Jester are now doing some disc spam here from the midfield of Arx Novena. Foom's coming up here, calling out an inventory station. Looks like he's in Raider right now, probably going to switch over to Jug. Yes, he does switch over to Jug, despite the fact that he still looks like he is in that medium suit. Oh, there we go. Hey, it fixed itself. Nice. Anyways, he is now going through, I'm trying to clear the flag stand for Pragmalis. Looks like Pragmalis so messed up his route a bit, coming in really slow. He's also using the Twin Fuser to help clear. He does make it out, but doesn't have a lot of HP. One snipe can take him out right now, but it looks like Rita. Rita just respawning. Is he going to be able to land that snipe? No, Pragmalis makes it under the aqueduct there. Half Alien coming in, trying to cut him off. Prison Breaker coming in, trying to make a play. Not going to happen, and Pragmalis makes a cap. 2-1 to one now here in favor of La Chupacabra, taking the game now by one point. Tiki now coming in. No clear for him whatsoever though. Coming into a completely defended flag stand again. And Ultra Force Raiders looks like they did get their man. That was I think Prison Breaker that did DC and he is back up and running right now. So Ultra Force Raiders up to a full team 
Aki still going around and doing this technician work though. Front and back turrets are right now, the back turret's level 2 and the front is level 1. Let's take a look at the generators real quick, just curious if this gen is level 2 as well. Yes it is, back here on the La Chupacabra flag stand now. See Ween and Prison Breaker coming in here trying to make a clear, probably for Tiki. I don't see Tiki though, Pragmalis is on the left side of the screen right now of the Diamond Sword map, he's on the left side, looking for maybe another left to right, or he may be going for a back route here. Here comes Pragmalis, he's coming down, looks like he's going to be doing that back route. He is running Pathfinder though, and it looks like on the other side, Tiki does make it out. Tiki, on the other hand, he is running Soldier, he's out with a lot of HP. Snipe not going to be able to do much here, so one Snipe comes in and misses. We need an E-Grab right now from the Chupacabra, I think that... Pragmalis doesn't have enough time to make it. He does not. The flag is capped 2 to 2 now, but here comes Pragmalis using that twin fuser again. Takes a lot of damage on the stand. Let's we'll see if Reed is able to snipe him down. Does, don't see any snipes coming in. Rita may have been down, and Pragmalis is going to come in and just cap right on top of that. So there we go. The Chupacabra coming in again with just able to get this flag out every single time with these back to fronts. Whereas Ultra Force Raiders having a little issues there with the back at least. But Tiki, we just saw him get out with his side route and he got out pretty clean and got all the way back home pretty much uncontested All right now we have Fume over here he is running that juggernaut class despite the fact he looks like he is in a tiny little pathfinder suit it's all like just spread out look at those legs he's freaking out there like he's doing squats or something we have Jester over here in the midfield he is also running juggernaut so right now we have the Chupacabra really depending on this jug spam to clear this flag stand and the turrets are up Fume's is unable to get taken out by those turrets. Happy Alien trying to chase him down. Ooh! He, boom, so gets him with a nice Merv there. And the flag now is still being protected by Sake. Sake over here for Ultra Force Raiders. Does he see Pragmalis coming in? Let's see what he's looking at. No, it doesn't look like it. No one aware that Pragmalis is coming in. He comes in under the Aqueduct. No mines down to take him out. And he's going to get out again. This could be a 4-2 game here. And Ultra Force Raiders are going to have to find out something to do in order to really bring this back together. Ooh, Pragmalis gets a nice shot there on Tiki with that Twin Fuser. Now Dark is going to go for the return. Is he going to be able to get it? Half Alien trying to keep it alive in the field. He gets taken out by Vagrant, though the Sniper 4, the Chupacabra. The flag gets returned. Pragmalis gets the cap. 4 to 2 now. And right now, this is pretty much all the Chupacabra. They're doing a really good job of keeping up a lot of good offensive pressure. Fumes is still back here. Full HP right now. People unable to take care of them. And this Jug Spam really doing a good job of cleaning up these mines with these back to fronts. All they have to do is keep the flag stand clear of any mines. They don't have to worry about going through any of the hallways or anything. And despite the fact that the gens are up, don't really see many force fields coming out from Saki to cover that back route. Let's see here. We have Tiki now running Soldier. Him and Pragmalis are going to be going over each other, so let's see what Tiki sees. He should see Pragmalis right here. He's not going to take any pop shots at him. Pragmalis is really, really low, but at least UFR should know who, where the cap is coming from. Tiki now coming in from this side route. He's going to get taken out by Ash to Stampede's mind, though. Now we'll see how Pragmalis is going to do on this route. Foom still alive in the back, doing a really good job of keeping UFR's defense at bay here. And right now it's only Sake on this flag stand. He's not looking at the capper, but I'm pretty sure I saw Rita take some pop shots at Pragmalis. Pragmalis coming in. Mine's all over that flag, and Pragmalis is not going to be able to do anything about that yet. What was that? What was that? Oh, we have a scream in 18 minutes. That was it. All right, so it's still 4-2 to two now here in favor of La Chupacabra. And Fooms is just still back here doing a lot of work. We are far unable to deal with them. We do have Aki over here in this technician suit using that technician 24. But, man, Fooms again with that burp spam able to take out his chasers. Now looking for Tiki. Tiki is coming in as well as Dreamer. Dreamer, it looks like we might be seeing double cap coming out here from La Chupacaba. Tiki coming into a fully defended flag stand. Ween doing his best to clear. He has gotten the mines off at least, and Tiki is going to be able to squeeze out there. He has about half HP right now. We'll have to see if La Chupacaba is able to make an e-grab. Foom's in position, opting not to go for that e-grab though. And Tiki is going to come in with this cap. Oh, he misses though, and he gets taken out by Foom's Merv spam. And, but it gets picked up, and the flag doesn't leave very much. Prison Breaker attempting to toss it up to the flag, so not going to happen, though. Now Sake picks it up, and something takes it out of his hands. It must have been an impact nitro, and Fooms now coming in. Fooms finally dies, gets that streak shut down, Aki taking him out. We now coming up, he's going to risk a bolt jump up to that flag stand, and there it is. Ultra Force Raiders now has three points, and we'll have to see if... It looks like, whoa, well, Pragmalis was just coming in. That turret, though, takes him out before he's able to make a grab. But Ultra Force Raiders did have a lot of coverage on that flag stand, so I'm not quite sure how far he would have made it either way. 
We have Fooms now over here trying to get back in position behind that base. Ween and Prison Breaker both ignoring him, trying to kill you here for Tiki, who's about 25 seconds on his back route. But Vagrin, Ash Stampede are up here pretty much full HP. Don't see any LD right now, though. Is that LD trying to engage? Looks like maybe just running two on defense right now. There's Dark. The Dark, I believe, is a chaser. Maybe he's just looking for the LO. That's Prison Breaker and Ween who are coming in. Snuck behind him. And he is now trying to rush back to his flag stand, trying to keep Vagrin up. Vagrin takes out Ween with that Swag Blaster. Oh, no, that is actually Ash Stampede taking him out. I thought he took him out. Either way, Tiki now coming in. He looks like his regen did get clipped. So he is coming in at, or leaving the flag stand at about a quarter. He's going to get sniped down by, sorry, he's going to get sniped down by Vega and Reagan is going to go down now, it looks like. We now has a flag here, trying to get it back to his base for Ultra Force Raider. He does to Jester, unable to keep it out in the flag stand. Dreamer now coming up. Is he going to be doing a front to back? He is running in. Aki, though, on him. Looks like he's trying to take out the generators right now. Follow them, got these guys in here. Nope, Aki is going to be able to take out dreamer before he's able to get there and take out the gens it would have taken a while though they are level two generators right now for ultra force raiders and right now not a lot of action going on here we have fooms and Tajester really pushing out kind of quick crag mouse is probably about 35 seconds here from a back route half alien coming in trying to take out fooms fooms oh, almost gets taken out by that explosive nitron that was shown, thrown there by half alien Tajester now trying to help out his bud fooms here no fooms is going to poke his head up a little bit too high gets sniped down by rita and this is pretty much to clear here it's going to be Tajester going to also have to see if the other LO is going to be able to come in and clear here for Prag Malice. Let's see what Rita's looking at right now. Looks like he is aware of where the cap is coming from. No, he's not. Tiki, though, on the other side makes it out, trying to tie this game up. He makes it out with a side route. Right now, Dreamer, is he going to be able to make any plays here? He's trying to push himself towards the flag stand. I don't think he has enough HP to make any play, though. But to see if Vagrin's able to get the snipe. Tiki does go up. Snipe comes in, misses, but Prag Malice does come in. He gets the flag out just in time. Dark now over here, trying to get the return. He's pull out the, he actually is running a shotgun. And it looks like Tiki gets taken out by its Jester. Dark, is he going to have enough health? No, he does not. Saki, though, he gets sniped down at the last second by Vagrin before he's able to pick up the flag. But it looks like everyone here has gone down for La Chupacaba. Let's take a look on the other side. Prag Malice is on top of his base at about half HP. It looks like he is running soldier routes now. And he's looking for someone to pass this flag off to. Astra Sanpede is coming to help him out and they're going to be going into standoff mode first standoff of the game here between La Chupacabra and Ultra Force Raiders Dreamer setting up here on the sniper hill of Ultra Force Raiders he's taking a lot of snipes so he's going down on the other side the flag is out oh looks like it was just an attempted pass there Astro Stampede is still in Doomberg let's see if he switches it up to Soldier looks like he does he's now going up against Half Alien Half Alien coming in trying to get some of those impact nitrons off not going to happen though and now we have Aki over here actually using Technician. He is not full HP though. He's going to have to pass off if he wants to get any kind of regen. Ooh, long range disc fan from Dreamer actually takes him down to a quarter. Aki's going to be looking for a pass here now desperately. Saki over here running away from him actually. Looks like he's trying to just change out his loadout. No, he is still in Doombringer. Are there any mines on the flag though? No, no mines on the flag. Fooms is over here for La Chupacabra trying to make sure that if the flag does get returned, he's a he's there to make the e-grab. Ooh, he's getting taken out by turret. So right now, uh, La Chupacabra looking maybe to take out the gens. Doesn't look like it. They're all just rushing in. Turrets are all up here. We had Dark coming in trying to get some of those Nitrons off. Not going to land though. More Nitrons coming in. Prison Breaker barely dodging him. Here comes Prag Malice. Prag Malice. Looks like he went for the Sonic Punch and misses though. And all these turrets are starting to do work. We have four tech or two technicians out right now. It looks like four La Chupacabra during the standoff. So, or Ultra Force Raiders. Sorry about that. So Ultra Force Raiders has a ton of technicians out right now. I think that little trooper cover would be better off trying to take out those generators. Fooms now going for the gen. Needs to watch out for that turret, though. That turret is a beast when you're going in that position. It's almost always going to hit you with that splash damage that hits that door. And we'll have to see. I'm actually going to go in here real quick. See. Oh, Fooms does get taken out by Tiki, who is running that technician class as well. Let's take a look on the other side. Here's the trooper cover's side. They're holding Ultra Force Raiders flag right now. Ween and Half Alien both coming in, trying to make a bit of a pincer attack here it looks like Ash Stampede though still pretty good on the other side we see here Prison Breaker coming in it's tr just dodging those impact nitrons and turrets are just going to clean up everyone these turrets do so much damage they're going to do something about these turrets Dark comes in he does get the nitron off but he does go down immediately Saki now picks it up for Ultra Force Raiders and over here Ash Stampede looking pretty good right now 
Ultra Force Raiders only seems to be sending out half alien and ween to attempt to get this return. Whereas La Chupacabra, I think, has four people in defense. We have Vagrant who is sticking in that Sentinel suit. Fooms over here should be going on offense soon. Dreamer as well. Here comes uh, half alien now for that Nitron hit. Not going to happen though. Prison Breaker now picks up the flag for Ultra Force Raiders. Ween coming in from the midfield. And right now, Ween and half alien really need to start working as a team. They're coming in separately here. It looks like Ween going in that Juggernaut suit. He is using the Deluxe Mortar actually. So not going to have as much spread on that. He's actually going for the turrets right now, even though the, the gens are not up right now for La Chupacabra. And we don't see any technicians for him, so they won't be coming up anytime soon. Let's take a look on the other side. Prison Breaker over here. Is there an imp out right now for La Chupacabra? Yes, there is. So we do have the... Oh, here he is. Pragmalis coming in. Let's see what he's running. Looks like he's running Close Combat and Sonic Punch. Prison Breaker over here. Uh, Pragmal is actually able to get really, really close to him. I think they see him now, though. Where is that? Where is these uh, jammer pack right now? Pragmalis is going to go down. Now we also have D Dark, though. He's going to come in. No, he just misses the Nitron, unfortunately, there. Uh, Could have been a really nice Nitron there, but unfortunately does not go and hit the flag carrier, which is Prison Breaker, and the flag will stay in Ultra Force Raiders' hands. 4-3 right now, still next cap for... La Chupacabra will take it to 5-3. This is TWO rule, so it is a 7 cap out. On the other side now, looks like Sake, he has a flag for Ultra Force Raiders. Dreamer coming in, but Sake is going to be key to this, and he's going to go way up in the air. Dark almost MAing him with that bolt launcher. Sake, though, looking pretty good here. And I think, really, La Chupacabra would be better off just mounting up and taking out those gens first before even trying to get this flag back. These turrets are just going to rip him up every time, even if they have a... <coughs> infiltrator in there, I think it's just going to be able to do so much damage on them before they're able to really do anything. See what they're mainly running here. We have one, two pass out right now for La Chupacabra. Those are both on offense. Half alien over here passing over Dreamer. And we still have an imp out for La Chupacabra. Maybe we'll see a generator attack attempt here soon as all Ultra Force Raiders defense is out of the base right now. Rita's still in that sniper suit. Man, Prison Breaker, everyone over here just, <coughs> excuse me, everyone just look, sitting pretty right now. Half Alien, Ween, unable to do any kind of damage against the Trooper Cobra over here. Tiki now looks like he might be moving out on the offensive. He is in Soldier, going up the midfield. Saki still looking good. Saki though, he has kind of left his little turret setup. Actually, turrets have been relatively taken down. For the most part, there is still one up dark over here. Pragmalis coming in behind us. Pragmalis is infiltrator. Let's see if he's going to be able to get a good read here on Sake as he lands. No, he's actually... Sake... Oh, oh, here it comes. Is he going to be able to get the sonic punch? No, he does not. He actually goes for the dish shot first. And he is going to go down. Asha Stampede now has a flag here still for La Chupacabra. I think he's had it this whole time. Tiki going in, trying to land some of those proxy grenades that that soldier class has. But he is going to go down. On the other side, the flag does get returned somehow. We have Vagrant over here now. Aki coming in as Infiltrator. Going to try and go through and make an E-grab. He does get the E-grab off, but is it going to be enough? Asha Stampede over here now has a flag. This will be cap number 5 with 7 minutes and 33 seconds remaining. Half Alien now is going to actually pick it up for Ultra Force Raiders and get out pretty far. He's buying his team enough time to crash here in Pathfinder. Don't see a, too many Pathfinders. No, no, not a lot of Pathfinders on Ultra Force Raiders' side. And here comes Ween now. Ween's going to barely squeeze out with that e but he has a lot of HP. Now Prison Breaker coming up along with Aki trying to take out Asha Stampede. Aki almost getting Asha Stampede mid-air there. Half Alien now coming in. Does he have his Nitrons? Yes, he does. He Nitrons a flag out, but unfortunately it's going to stay on the stand, and there's a cap. La Chupacabra are going to take a 2-5-3 now. Taking their lead and patting it a bit. Pragmal is now going to try and come in and lama this flag out as Imp. He has made it pretty far. We'll have to see if any of the Chupacabra players are going to be here to escort him. Is he going to punt it? He does punt that flag off. The Jester's here. Is he going to be able to mid grab? No. Goes over his head. Ash Stampede almost makes a nice pickup. Ween goes down. Dig in. Taken out by Vagrant there at the last second. Now Aki comes in. He's going to E-grab it. He does take a lot of damage. Oh, he gets taken out. And the flag is going to get returned here. And Ultra Force Raiders, or Jesus, the Chupacabra is going to get up by six. Now one more cap, and they will cap this map out. So that was a really nice play there by... What was his name again? It was the capper Pragmalis getting out with that flag as just a llama after all that madness happened as you Ultra Force Raiders are crashing a lot trying to get their flag back at the Chupacabra's flag stand and he was able to punt it all the way to his flag stand and they were able to make the rest of the play. So good job there to the Chupacabra right now in a pretty pretty confident spot right now. 
we had Tiki coming in. He's going to get taken out by Asher Stampede, though. Was that Asher Stampede? Is he still running Soldier? Yes, he is. So right now, no Doombringer on flag. Over here, though, looks like Ultra Force Raiders are still looking pretty good. But they do have Half Alien Ween and Tiki now going on out on. Oh, they, do they still have a Technician? Yeah, Aki is still in that Technician. Now, when it comes down to it, I think when you're running a Tech and you had the Gens up and everything, I think you really kind of need to have four people on D to make up for the fact that you have a Technician. Technicians are pretty good at close combat, with, but they aren't the best chasers. So right now, no chaser for Ultra Force Raiders. They're going to really have to rely on their offense to be in good position to get this flag back if it does get out. Saki now going down. Looks like Pragma also just got taken out. And we'll have to take a look at the Lud Trooper Cobra flag stand and see how it's going over here. Not a lot of action. We have Ween on the flag stand right now. He is Soldier. Maybe looking to go through it. He actually using proxy grenades opposed to the AP grenades, which are pretty popular among Soldier clears. Just toss those all over and try and take out mines mainly just to take out the Doombringer though. We do have a Shrike out now for... who is this? This is... Aki. Aki the Tech actually going for some Shrike offense here for Ultra Force Raiders. Is he going to be going for a Shrike grab? His Shrike right now at about half HP so he's going to decide to hang on to it for a little while. So let's see his Half Alien. Half Alien looks like he's come back now to do that chasing LD and maybe the generators for Ultra Force Raiders have kind of been left to rot. We'll have to see if the Super Cobra is able to take advantage of the fact that this tech that has been keeping those generators for Ultra Force Raiders up all game long is now on their side of the base. Chain gun fire all over the Shrike. The Shrike trying to do everything to try and clear out this flag. I don't see Tiki anywhere. Oh, are we going to see the Shrike grab come in now? No, he's actually going to go try and get the ram. On the other side, Pragmalis has picked up the flag for the Chupacabra. Tiki is coming in for the flag now, and now Ultra Force Raider is able to clear out that flag stand completely, and he's able to make it out just before Pragmalis comes in and makes that ca final cap for the Chupacabra. Ashes Stampede, though, already in good position, set up for this standoff. Ween for Ultra Force Raiders as well as Prison Breaker coming up. Prison Breaker and Half Alien might just be standing back right now. For, oh, on the other side, the flag is out. Dark trying to make a play here for the Trooper Cobra, but it looks like he might be out of Nitrons. No, he is not. Oh, he's using Explosive Nitrons, actually, so it's going to be a tough fight here. Trying to take out Saki. He does get Saki down to pretty low. Oh, here comes Dreamer, though. Dreamer should be able to finish him off. Ween coming in, trying to back him up, but no, Dreamer doesn't pull out. Oh, man, those are those times that you really just need to pull out your secondary weapon and take him out as quickly as possible. His dish shots are pretty cool when you land them, but they aren't always as consistent. And it's a lot harder to get those off more continuously, whereas Arctic SN7, which is usually secondary for any kind of, uh, excuse me, any kind of infiltrator, is usually the way to go, just because it has such a fast rate of fire and does so much damage in comparison to that disc spin fuser. To Jester over here, now he is going to get cleaned up by Old Force Raiders on the other side. Ash Stampede over here for the Chupacabra, looking pretty healthy with that flag. Looks like we have four on D right now. We have Fooms. Vagrant and Ash Stampede along with Tajester coming back actually opting not to go out for his O-Run yet trying to make sure his defense is okay over here. Half Alien now he should get cleaned up. We have a lot of Ultra Force Raiders coming over here getting cleaned up though. Ash Stampede high up in the air. Unfortunately not a lot of shots landing on him and here's Tiki last man standing for Ultra Force Raiders. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do anything. He gets taken out. Let's take a look over here on the flag. Ween maybe getting a shout out saying that they might get that flag return as he is on the flag stand right now. Dreamer coming in trying to land those Nitrons. Ween now landing on the ground. Dreamer on will hit that bolt shot though. Nitron coming again, not going to be able to hit either, and Dreamer should get cleaned up here. And he's still alive somehow. There he goes. Snipe comes in from Rita, takes him out, and Vagrant now is actually holding the flag here for the Chupacabra. He's going to pass it off to Ash Stampede, who still has not gotten any kind of regen. Half alien now, and Ultra Force Raiders is actually opting to keep their hold over here at their base. So... Well, to see how that works for them, it seems a little bit more vulnerable position, but as they have let those generators go to rot, all their are their base assets down yet? No, their base assets are still up, but it looks like they're opting not to use any kind of technician. Ooh, Pragmalso comes in. Looks like he got a lot of damage here on Half Alien. Pulls out that secondary, able to get the kill. Is he going to be able to get the return? Oh, no, he's not. Just missing that mid-air return. Flag now picked up by Aki. Let's take a look on the other side. Fooms looking pretty healthy over here. The Trooper Cobra looks like they have now gotten their generators back up, so they're going to have a few turrets. Not as many technicians, though. Uh, no, actually, they've gone to two techs now, so we're going to see a lot of turrets over here, so kind of a, a change of pace here between the, both teams. Ultra Force Raiders, again, just holding the flag on top of their flag stand, letting those generators rot, and Pragmalis coming over here. He's going to have a bit easier time getting this flag 
back with Infiltrator. I don't see anyone. Oh, here comes the No, it's not even Sonic Punch. That close combat comes into play. Pragmalis goes through and gets a full damage melee there in the back of the flag carrier for Ultra Force Raiders. And now Ash Stampede's trying to run over towards his flag stand. Prison Breaker picks it up. He puts it forward, trying to get it to Tiki. Is Tiki going to be able to make a play? Does not look like it. And the flag should get returned here. No, Saki coming in, making a good play. Everyone from Ultra Force Raiders should be crashing right now, actually, with 46 seconds remaining on the clock. I don't think there's much you're going to be able to do with the lead that La Chupacabra has right now. They need two caps and also a grab. The flag does get returned. They're preventing the cap out. Both flags go back home. Looks like Pragmalis again just hanging out on the Ultra Force Raiders flag stand, taking advantage of the fact that a lot of the Ultra Force Raiders were crashing there. Pragmalis is going to get taken out by Sake's bolt launcher, and he's going to go down. Flag gets returned. But here it is, 21 seconds remaining on the clock, and this first map is going to be going to La Chupacabra. That is on Arx Novena. They were the blue team this time around. They had a lot of solid offense. Foom's doing a really good job of camping in the back as Juggernaut, dealing with all the defense that Ultra Force Raiders was throwing at him, and had a lot of really good clears for Pragmalis, who was doing a lot of uh, back routes, also switching it up with some side routes, but good games to both teams. There it is. 6-3 is the final score, so no cap out for La Chupacabra. I felt that they could have gotten that, but Ultra Force Raiders did a really good job of turning the game around. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. We have uh, Fooms up there with 28 kills to Jester as well. So obviously killing power going to La Chupacabra with a, four of their players having over 20 kills where Ultra Force Raiders wasn't able to get any players with over 20 kills. So there you have it. And take a look at the Sentinels as well. Vagrant up there with 20, Rita with 15. So both of the Sentinels doing a good job of killing a lot of stuff. But on the other side of the Chupacabra just had a lot of really good timings and were able to get out with that flag a lot more. GG! What's going on Recon? How you doing this evening? Tartar sauce. Uh, when was that? see here so here we are on Tartarus haven't seen this map in a while as far as competition goes mm. man that's a good stretch <laughs> this is why I need to make just general production stuff so I can have some kind of music go in the background with a picture or something something or other I'll have to work on that Ah uh, man shoot you know what? I think I may have to go have a tribes to scrim I think it started one minute ago. And I have a feeling it being Tartarus might be a kind of a, a long map. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Of course, they might have enough. Who knows? I'm pretty bad at tribes anyway. Doesn't look like we're now at the four star here. La Chupacabra. Might be no, the Jester's still in here, so they're just waiting on one more to come in. They'd be going out, taking a leak, having a smoke, whatever, whatever. I'm doing good, thanks, Recon. Yeah, back to fronts all day, but they are pretty long back to fronts, so they're kind of easy to spot, depending on where your offense is setting up. Bless you. There we are on La Chupacabra's side. Looks like they're going to be switching sides this time. They're all going to be on the same Ultra Force Raider. Still on Blood Eagle, the red team, and La Chupacabra, the blue team, Diamond Sword. I'll have to see if we have any gen play again. I, I'm not sure about this map. Like I said, I haven't played it a lot. The gens 
seem kind of easy to defend, especially at the beginning. Maybe just let the Doombringer shield down here at the entrance, make sure imps have to go the long way around. Put some interesting turrets around here. I'm not sure. I'll have to see if they find it necessary to keep those gens up or not. These two turrets really aren't the best for killing any cappers, or, and you can get around them relatively easy, I'd imagine, as an LO. But either way, the game has started. Ultra Force Raiders right now, man down. They were full manned, but they also started out the last game like this. And we'll get a read down here again on Blood Eagle. This is Ultra Force Raiders, the red team. We have Sake, Rita, Tiki, Aki, Ween, ha Half Alien, and one more to be determined. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Over on Diamond Sword, this is a Chupacabra. We have Fooms, Ash Stampede, Vagrant, Tajester, Dreamer, Pragmalis, and Dark. And it looks like over on Ultra Force Raiders, Black Widow has joined. So there, it's going to be the seventh man joining their ranks. We have Aki coming over here straight for the generators. It looks like on here on the... The Chupacabra side, not putting any kind of, any kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Manpower to take out the, or keep the generators up. But over here on the other side, looks like Ultra Force Raiders has some claymores down here in the front. Let's take a look and see if they took time to cover this one as well. Doesn't look like it, so at least one entrance is fully undefended here on the Ultra Force Raiders side. Let's take a look here and see how high we can get up on this map. There's Pragmalis. Pragmalis coming in off of the soldier route. Gonna dis jump. Is he gonna be able to get out? Sake, does he see him? Sake not able to get a shot. Yes, he does actually. And Pragmalis is gonna come in and get all of his speed taken away. Still making it away pretty far though. Half alien coming in trying to chase him down. He's using that shotgun. Ooh, nice snipe there. Comes in from Rita. Rita is gonna be able to take out Pragmalis and the flag gets dropped in return there. And Ultra Force Raiders is going to keep it 0 0 right now. Looks like we have Black Widow up here, this spamming in Brute, trying to chase down any of these LD. That's Dark trying to take him out. Merv right behind him. He's going to be able to avoid it. Plume's now coming in, trying to take out Black Widow as well. Black Widow is not long for this world. He gets taken out by Dark. Shut up, phone. Jeez, you've been getting off this whole time. You're annoying me. Let's see now. We have Dreamer over here. Let's see. What is Dreamer looking at? He's actually an infiltrator. The gens are down for both teams, so it looks like another team is going to be. Oh, no, actually, Aki again in that technician suit. So, gens should be coming up here shortly, I would imagine, for Ultra Force Raiders. Not quite sure where Aki is right now, though. Don't see him anywhere. There's Rita the Sniper for Ultra Force Raiders. There's Tiki. Tiki, I saw him going on a route out there for the red team. Here comes Pragmalis now. Pragmalis again. Let's see if Rita sees him. No, Rita does not see him. Pragmalis coming in pretty much unseen so far. That was redundant either way. Uh, he comes in now. He's trying to clear for himself. He does grab the flag, but unfortunately gets pushed over towards those boxes. Pragmalis now trying to make it to the midfield. Doesn't look like he's going to be having much more life, though. Somehow able to just get away with that much. Not sure how it even got to the midfield. Fooms looks like he's able to clean up half alien. No, actually, Sake cleans up half alien to Jester now picks it up on the other side the flag does get out and Dark is there to make the return up on that huge tree trunk coming out of the side of the mountain to Jester now going through trying to dis jump his way over to his flag we'll have to see if he's able to make it there he is it looks like he will be able to Tiki trying to crash on the midfield that's really the only thing I see here from Earth Force Raiders though the flag does get capped there by to Jester Tiki now coming in is going to get sniped down by Vagrant as he comes in on that front route and there it is first point goes to the Chupacabra, that was a hard fought point though. Black Widow over here dealing with booms. Let's see what Black Widow's running this time around. He is in Raider now. Opposed to Brute. Ooh, nice Smurf comes in from Fooms, taking out Black Widow. And Fooms is just a beast of a dueler in this jug suit. Really, really good with those Mervs. Has a really good idea of where they're going to land after he shoots that. And also pretty good with this LMG. Right now, just harassing a stand with Mervs. Band. The gens are back up right now for Ultra Force Raiders. They're still down for the Chupacabra though. Really though, these gens being up really come into play f during those standoffs as we saw last time on ARCs where the Chupacabra or Ultra Force Raiders were able to hold on to it for a long time. Uh, granted, they did have a lot on D, but still those turrets really do a lot of damage for anyone that's incoming here. Looks like the Jester dealing with Half Alien, uh, pulling out that hammer for the Brute class, trying to take him out, but it looks like these guys just both had a quarter HP, <laughs> unable to kill one another. Oh. And there we go. Half healing gets him this time. The Jester goes down, but Pragmalis is coming in. Sake doesn't have a shield up on this flag, and Pragmalis is going to be able to make it out. Full HP as well. Looks like Rita 
might be down. No, he's up, but unfortunately the snipes are not landing. Krakenal is trying to dis jump off of that tree trunk. Not going to happen, though. I don't see anyone here for Ultra Force Radio is going to be in position to make any play off of this. Half alien trying his darnest, but not going to happen. Flag is capped now, two to nothing here in favor of La Chupacabra. Half alien coming over here trying to clear the stand. Do we have. Tiki coming in, yes you do, so Tiki now coming in, but we have a lot of little Chupa Cabra, but Tiki able to come in and get out with that flag, Ween taking up Pragmalis there at the last second, who was trying to stack on that flag, but Tiki unfortunately losing a lot of his speed, he's actually going to be forced to dis jump to try and make it over this hill, he does punt that flag, the flag does go over the hill, Aki now coming in trying to pick it up, is he going to be able to make any play, half alien he thrusts, but he does not get the pick up, Aki now picks it up, almost tosses it straight to Dreamer, half alien now coming in, he's getting just taken all around, the Chupa Cabra should get this return dark takes it back home two to nothing here still that was the farthest so we've seen it so far get out for ultra force raiders pragmal is coming in now Foom's doing just work up there with that merv spam sake almost down he's really had to be conscious of where that merv spam is coming from right now let's see rita rita still unable to see pragmal is pragmal has pretty much been running the same route over and over but unfortunately it must just be really hard to see on this map there he goes rita now sees him the, the hit doesn't happen though, and Pragmalis makes it out with half HP, looking for Rita to finish him off. Pragmalis is in Pathfinder, fortunately Rita not able to hit him there. There's one shot that does hit, taking him down to a quarter, but I don't see anyone over here for Ultra Force Raiders going to be able to do anything about it. 3 nothing, and the Trooper Cobra just dominating with these back routes, able to get out almost every single time. Here is Fooms. For some reason, I went on Fooms. I meant to click on whoever was coming over here. They must have killed out. Then it might have been Tiki, as Tiki is all the way back over here at his base now, setting up for another route. Tiki, though, of course, going in that soldier, whereas we have seen the Pragmalis just mainly doing those Pathfinder routes. And unfortunately, it just seems like Rita doesn't have a have his number right now, and he's unable to get those snipes. Pathfinder is definitely a very, very good capping class if you're able to avoid those sniper shots. So that's probably the main reason why he's running it right now. We saw last time he did go into Soldier for a little while, so he definitely can run those Soldier routes. But right now, opting to run the path as he's coming in again, very, very low HP. It looks like Tiki, though, coming in here with his back route in Soldier. Ashes Stampede doesn't see him, doesn't look like it. Tiki should be able to make it out with full HP. Unfortunately, losing. No, he didn't. Jeez, he's actually at 260 right now. He might be able to make it all the way back home. Let's see Prag Malice here, though, coming in off of this route, looking to pick it up. The flag is completely clear. There it is. And Tiki, unfortunately, unable to get that cap up here. And he's coming into a fully manned uh, flag stand by the other team. So he's going to have to go through and rabbit this flag. Let's see if any shots coming in from Vagrant. Doesn't look like it on the other side. Pragmalis does go down. Ween's there for the return, but Tiki under so much pressure. I don't think he's going to be able to make it back to his base or his flag stand at least. Dreamer now coming in, trying to get the return after Tiki goes through and punts it off. Dreamer actually going for the flag pickup as Fooms maybe called out that he had the return. The flag isn't returned yet though. Fooms jumping over it. Ween now going to pick it up. Ween though very low. He's going to toss it away from Fooms and Fooms should go down here pretty shortly but to Jester coming in as well. Merv right there trying to split up the UFR defense. Dark now coming in. Sake in a lot of trouble here. To Jester trying to take out Sake with the hammer. He does get that last shot off. Dark now coming in. He's going to be able to make the return. On the other side the flag is back home for Ultra Force Raiders. Tiki now going to try and pick up the flag. He gets shot though by that Devastator Spin Fuser and the Jester is going to come in and pick it up and now Dark opting to pick up that flag but he is going to get sniped down by Rita there. Flag is going to go back home for Ultra Force Raiders. 3 nothing still here. Ultra Force Raiders trying their hardest to get this flag back home. Tiki had a very very nice route that last time. He did make it all the way home but unfortunately Frag Mouse was able to make it all the way back and they did get the flag returned but there's just no one there to keep the flag home and try and get the kind of just solidify the fact that their capper was all right. The capper was forced to wrap it around with so much pressure coming out from La Chupacabra. And that will cost Ultra Force Raiders that cap right there. Black Widow right now moving up the midfield. And Tiki and Ween both coming in here. Let's see Tiki. Tiki, oh, looks like he messed up his route. That's unfortunate. Either that or the running double cap here. Ween, though, also didn't wasn't able to get the flag pickup. Tiki now just going to go through and llama it off. He does pick up a lot of speed, though, here. Well, not a lot, but, you know, enough. More than I expected. Dark now coming in. He's not going to be able to get the shot off, but Vagrin comes in. Ooh, nice pickup by Ween, though. Vagrin does get that snipe off, but unfortunately, Ween coming into Digester and Fumes, and the flag is going to go back home. Still 3 nothing. We see now Plyrag Malice coming out with this flag. Nice Nitron, though, there by Saki. It looks like Saki opting to get rid of that Doombringer suit, and he's going to go in Pathfinder and just Nitron the flag carrier as he comes in. Dreamer now over here. He is in 
Infiltrator trying to take out the turret. He at least gets the turret, but that was about it. But of course, there's not really that much going on over here. Anyway, it's probably time to reset. And yes, yeah, so it looks like Ween and Tiki now running double cap here for Ultra Force Raiders. Here comes Ween. He, I think he is running Pathfinder. Oh no, though, he's not unable to get just that turn just right. Unable to carve on that ground, and the flag is going to stay home. Looking for Tiki right now, though. Where are you, Tiki? Tiki, Tiki, where are you? I don't see Tiki anywhere. He's still in game. There he is, Tiki, even hidden from me, all the way up here in the air. That big freaking tree up there, covering all my view. Tiki now coming in. Ashy Stampede and Vagrant, though, looking pretty healthy there. Black Widow is going to be able to get one final mortar. He is using that mortar, but unfortunately overshoots the flag stand. Mines are still up here. Aki now coming in. Is he going to be able to take out Vagrant? Oh, no, he just gets a Sonic Punch on Vagrant. But he's going to start shooting him. And no, Ashy Stampede is actually going to TK Vagrant there. And he doesn't even see Tiki coming in. And Tiki's going to come in and make it out without taking any damage from the Hoth besides some mine sh fire. So even if Vagrant's able to get the respawn, Tiki should make it back home there. And Vagrant misses that snipe fooms over here is he going to be able to make the play looks like he was too concentrated there on half alien and tiki's going to come in oh it's a jester with a nice shot though taking him out the last second is he going to be able to get the e-grab oh wow Prag mouse comes in just beating ultra force raiders to that cap makes the e-grab black widow now going to get taken up by fooms murph sh shot dreamer now coming in here for it to la chupacabra he makes the return on the other side Prag mouse makes it all the way back home rita though no on top of that stump he is going to come in and make two snipes but not enough to kill Prag mouse and that is going to be a cap four to nothing man ultra force raiders was so close there to making that cap but just some really nice flag awareness coming out from la chupacabra and Prag Malice able to squeeze out somehow with that flag grab, getting that just amazing E grab off of that route. So that ended up turning into a cap there for the Chupacabra. So I guess never give up, never surrender right there. The Chupacabra is able to go through and put up another point on the board while keeping Ultra Force Raiders shut out for the moment. 13 minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the map. We have Fooms over here coming out. Prag Malice switching up the routes a bit. He's going to be coming from the left side of the map opposed to the right. Still probably going to be a back to front though. These back to fronts come in so fast. On the other side, Ween, he does make it out this time with a route. Ooh, turret! Oh, turret almost takes him out. So close, Ween though. Not a lot of HP. Probably going to be looking for a punt here. He does get that punt off. Doesn't go very far though. He d actually didn't get any splash damage ricocheted off his body. His punt was a little too late. He actually picks it up himself again. And this is going to be somehow a cap. Wow. Unfortunately, no one there really crashed in the stand for the Chupacabra. And Ween's able to pass it to himself and get the cap off of that. So there it is. Not going to be a shutout here for Ultra Force Raiders. We have Saki and Half Alien over here on the flag stand looking for Prag Malice. I don't see him anywhere. It looks like maybe he messed up his route or something. Not sure where he is right now. There he is. He's actually setting up on the right side of the map this time. We have over here to Jester dueling with no one actually. I think he's over here in that brute suit still just just spamming the crap out of this flag stand. Ween over here actually on defense now with Sake. So Ween, Sake both here on the flag stand along with half alien right now. So we have three all Pathfinder D coming out from Ultra Force Raiders. Something you don't see too commonly. Where is their Sarita, their Sentinel? Not quite sure. Looks like he might actually be O sniping. Yeah, he's up there on that mid. And we have Prag Malice now coming in, able to squeeze out of all those Pathfinders. None of them able to land any Nitrons. But Tiki on the other side is here. And Rita now coming in. He is in a good position to get these snipes off. Dreamer coming in, trying to. Sake might be able to get this return for Ultra Force Raiders. No one turning around there. And again, this could be another cap here for Ultra Force Raiders. And it looks like it is. Very nice. And right now, you don't really see a lot of light offense or even medium offense coming out from La Chupacabra. It's mainly just fatty offense, so it's really hard to crash that stand. You kind of have to rely on some long-range mervs or, or maybe even a snipe to prevent those caps from happening. And it looks like Ultra Force Raiders has made the change they need to make in order to get this flag home and start capping it. Rita up here in the mid. Dreamer is going to be on him in a second, though. Missing that snipe to Jester now coming up, though, and Rita is going to be unmounted from his little perch spot there. Foom's now over here again, still in that fatty suit, running that juggernaut. Prag Malice coming in here from the right side of the map. Here comes Ween. Looks like he is now running Cath again. So Ultra Force Raiders switching it up a lot between what each player is doing. 
And Happy Alien taking a Merv shot there. He is in Pathfinder as well. He's trying to rush over to Skooms. Looks like Sake over here is going to be able to get the Nitron here on Pragmalis. No, unfortunately, doesn't see Pragmalis coming in. Pragmalis is going to be able to get out. Rita not in quite a position to get the snipes off. Actually, Pragmalis is going to go way high, and Rita should be able to get some free snipes here. There's one of those snipes on the other side, though. Looks like Wheaton does come off of that route, and he does make it out. And Dark still using that shotgun. Unfortunately, when you're using the shotgun, I mean, the light assault rifle is a much stronger weapon, especially on a map like this, I think, because the map is so big, it's hard to get close to any of the LO. The LAR is just, I think, overall a lot stronger, and it's also, obviously, a lot better for chasing. Ween over there almost getting taken out by Fooms' Merv launcher shot, and Ween now going to toss it off over here to Sake. Fooms is really the only one over here for La Chupacabra at the moment. Let's take a look on the other side. Ash Stampede trying to get taken out by Tiki over here. Tiki, though, is going to go down, and the flag now in a standoff mode between these two teams. We have Ultra Force Raiders and the Chupacabra over here waiting for another person to come and try and take the flag. We have five people over here right now, four Ultra Force Raiders, Tiki even coming to join the party. So right now it looks like everyone's trying to get positioned here on O. Aki actually going out in O in Technician. No, actually going to get these gens back up. So I wonder if we'll see double technician. Yep, looks like Tiki's in that technician suit for Ultra Force Raiders as well as Aki. And let's take a look on the other side. Man, so much defense right now for both teams. The gens are back up for both teams. We have drop jammers down, just fortified in their positions. No one running technician though, it looks like right now for Team La Chupacabra, so no turrets or anything up. Here comes Black Widow. Black Widow, though, in for a bit of a surprise once he sees that drop jammer. Oh, no, actually, it looks like he gained a little too much speed over there. There, so the flag is in the field. Dark trying to get the return. Is he going to be able to do it? Sake has no HP. Dark unable to land any of those shots. Sake, though, at a sliver right now. But no one over here for the Chupacabra to even attempt to get this return. Dreamer coming in just a little bit too late, though. And Ash's Stampede is over here on his side looking nice and healthy. Looks like we do have a technician now. That is Pragmalis running the tech spot here for the Chupacabra. Half alien now over here looking pretty healthy as well. Well, not pretty healthy, but you know what I mean. See his Dreamer. Dreamer running close combat and San Sonic Punch. No reach or anything coming out from him. He's the only person over here right now, though, for the Chupacabra. And I see so many people on their side. Is there a drop? We have. I mean, he's just running right into it. <laughs> but he does get some damage on Half Alien, but with no one else here to finish off Half Alien, that is just. They're going to be able to toss it to someone with full HP, and there it is. Ultra Force Raiders now going to just be holding on to that flag. And we have one, two, three, four, four people over here, so four defense right now. I, I don't know. On a big map like this, I don't know if four defense is really necessary. I think that if if anything it makes it harder for your offense because even if you are able to go through and kill a flag carrier if your three offense gets taken out then you know you're not going to get the return anytime soon because it takes so long to get over there but both teams still sticking with looks like five defense over here on the Chupacabra side and that is just not the way to go on these big maps you're never going to be able to get the return unless you get really really lucky but Right now, with all these turrets and everything set up, even if you get a Nitron off, chances are you're going to die. Ooh, mid or Nitron there. And Dreamer, though, is just going to go down, and Sake is going to pick that flag right back up. Half Alien Ween over here. I'm surprised, actually, not to see any Jug spam or anything coming out. We have three check technicians coming out from Ultra Force Raiders right now. Jesus. Three technicians. And this is one of them. <laughs> They're actually running Technician Oh, The flag is out, though. Half Alien going to get a return there. And Ultra Force Raider is going to get a cap because of all the people on the Chupacabra are on their side. Unless Dreamer is able to make a... Oh no, just missing that Nitron. Very unfortunate there, but the flag does get capped there by Ultra Force Raiders. And Ultra Force Raiders now only down by one. So Ultra Force Raider is able to get back into this game after coming from a 4 nothing deficit. And here we go. Inventory station is getting called down all over the place by Ultra Force Raiders. Gens are still up for both teams. Dreamer really using these really far, far outside routes as an infiltrator. I kind of understand as a raider or a jug, whatever heavy, medium class you want to run, but when you're an invisible dude, I don't know if it's really necessary to use these routes like this. There are plenty of hills over here to kind of hide behind as you come up as an infiltrator, but either way, it's going to take a little while for him to get over here. I guess it kind of makes sense, though, as Pragmalis 
will be taking a while to get over there either way. These are very, very long setup routes for these back to fronts on tartar sauce. So here comes Pragmalis now coming in from this back and to Jester over there trying to clear the flag stand. We have Rita Sake and Half Alien on the flag. Tiki makes it out for Ultra Force Raiders looking to tie up the game, but Pragmalis is going to make it out here. Half Alien unable to make any kind of play there on Pragmalis as he shoots by him. Tiki now over here, but he is all alone. Foom should be able to clean him up. Tiki actually loses all of his speed. Not going to be able to even be able to rab it, but he is. Ooh, Dark almost makes a nice minute return as Tiki goes through and punts it off. Half Alien here over here now almost getting taken out by a Merv. Dark and Foom's over here though. For Team Lo Chupacabra, they really, really want to get this return. On the other side, the flag is still in the hands of Pragmalis. Saki now going to pick up the flag here for Ultra Force Raiders. Moving around, trying to stay away from Foom's Merv launcher. Looks like everyone gets cleaned up. On the other side, the flag is in the field. Looks like it was just a pass off there to Ash's Stampede. And we're going to see another standoff here between these two players. So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Black Widow now coming up here from the midfield. Looking to get... We don't actually have anyone... It's no sensor jammer. Oh, there's the drop jammer. Yes, we do. And Black Widow going to pop out and try and take out the jammer. Doesn't even take out the jammer pack, though. I'm not sure. Maybe that was actually a shot at Astro Stampede. I don't think he can really burst out enough. Uh, let me stretch here. Burst out enough damage, even with that loadout, to really do anything. So, Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. Inventory station is being called down in unison over here on Ultra Force Raiders' side. We got... Was that five turrets? Should be one more, right? We have still three technicians coming out from Ultra Force Raiders. There's the sixth one. So we got turrets, motion sensors, sensor jammers, oh my. Just everything over here. Ooh, almost a nice midair conk there on Sake, though, coming out from dark. Pragmalis is actually going to be able to get the return? No, he misses it! No, he dies! Oh my god. No! He was so close. So close. Can't believe he didn't get that return. So unfortunate. And here we go. We have Half Alien and Ween coming in. Let's see if we do see Aki. No, Aki's on the other side right now. Half Alien. Oh, coming in. But looks like Asher Stampede going to fly up in the air before he's able to get that Nitron on top of him. Half Alien shooting from behind. Is Half Alien still alive? Doesn't look like it. I think he's dead. Nope, he is still alive with a sliver. Yeah, right, no, he's dead. Half alien now dead, and Jesus, Mary and Joseph, just look at this. If the oh, we actually don't have a drop jammer. We, they're actually using a raider, opposed to having Rita go out. Who oh, Rita's technician, that's why. So they don't even have a scent. So they're just relying on raider jammer to do anything. Tiki over here. Looking for Pragmalis. Pragmalis, heads up. There's turrets all over the place. Oh, the gens are down, though. Generators are down for Ultra Force Raiders. And Pragmalis coming in. Is he going to be able to get the... Oh, no, he goes for the shot, though, instead of any kind of Sonic Punch. He pulls out the Arctic SN7. He does get the kill. Is he going to get the return? No. What is he running? Sonic Punch in close combat. I don't know. Reach might be better in this situation. I mean, it is a crutch, but damn, it's a good crutch. I mean, if you had a broken leg and you're using a reach as a crutch, you'd pretty much be able to run faster than any man on the planet, you know? Either way, we have Aki over here now. Still looking good for Ultra Force Raiders on the other side. Ash Stampede still looking relatively good. Black Widow pops out of Infiltrator. He goes down. And Ash Stampede will live to see another day and pass flag off to, to Jester. Aki now over here. Motion sensor is blowing up for some reason. Turrets shooting at them. Dreamer trying to get into the base. Looks like right now the Chupacabra using the base as kind of a, a meeting spot. Oh, <laughs> that meeting spot though. Uh, the meeting gets busted up by it. Tiki's light turret in here defending that generator. Unfortunate there. And Aki over here pretty much uncontested. Oh, I mean, right now at this point... If Ultra Force Raiders are able just to hold on to the flag and get another return like they did last time, they'll be able to tie up the game. It's just going to go in the OT as of now. Ooh, Nitron comes in. Ween almost getting that return. Half Alien coming in. He should actually be able to get this return. Oh, no, actually, the Chupacabra is... Oh, no, Half Alien does get the kill. And there's the return. There it is. Aki makes the tying score. Dark is going to grab it here for the Chupacabra. But there it is. Man, Ultra Force Raiders making a hell of a comeback here on Tartarus. And Dark... 
is out with it, but not very fast on the other side. Half Alien did pick up the flag for Ultra Force Raiders, but he goes down. Flag back at home in dark, making something out of this. It looks like Rita, though, just getting in position to snipe him down. Let's take a look at Rita. Whoa. <laughs> looks like he... Uh, oh, there's one snipe. Looking for the next one. Nope, not going to happen. He goes... He... Oh, man. How much of a bummer would it be if Ultra Force Raiders gets capped on right now? And we have Black Widow coming in. Dark really needs to get rid of this flag. He doesn't have a lot of HP, but of course, surprisingly enough, not a lot of Ultra Force Raiders over here yet. There we go. Half Alien coming in, trying to take out Dark. Black... Oh, Tiki actually going away. All he needs to do is turn around and to kill Dark. But are we actually going to see a standoff off of what just happened? Fooms now comes in. The flag does get returned by Pragmalis. Fooms gets the flag. Nitron out of his hands to Jester. Oh, just able to get the kill on Sake. But now Aki's out nice and clean with it. He is Technician. And that doesn't really mean anything because you're still going to be going pretty good speed here. Ash Stampede now over here. Holding the flag in the standoff point. Tiki coming in trying to make a play. Not going to happen. Pragmalis. Has that shotgun actually, just a regular shotgun too. And he's trying to get the kill. Aki now under a lot of pressure, but Rita coming in to try and help him out. Rita is in that Sentinel class still. He's going to snipe at. Oh, Saki, Saki. No, Saki misses the return or the pickup out of the field. But half aliens here to Jester though, trying to take him out. Is that Mur. Oh, that mortar so close, so close. But unfortunately. That was a lot of damage on half alien, so I don't know if he's going to be able to go much longer. Ash Stampede over here dealing with Ween. We do have a Shrike out. Where is that Shrike out? This is Vagrant in the Shrike, so this Shrike is going to be used to chase down half alien. Half alien should go down here. He goes down. The flag should get returned. Let's take a look now and see how UFR is doing on the crash to crash here from Tiki coming in. Tiki not going to be there though, and there it is. OT is finished out after 30 seconds. And 4-5 to five is the final score in favor of the Chupacabra. So the Chupacabra are going to be taking it. And they're going to be defending the number 18 spot here on the TWL ladder. Those were some pretty damn close games there. But we can see again, man, look at all those kills coming out from Fooms and Jester. Just uh, pretty much the Bash Brothers there on offense, it seems. And that was a good match. Was, uh, those standoffs were a little bit on the uh, boring side. But what are you going to do? You want to win, you want to win. But really, I think that heavier offensive pressure might be the way to go because even if you're only running 3D, you can go through, you run your 3D, and if someone dies on the offense, they can just cover the 3D until the enemy's O is cleaned up and then go back out again on a four offensive strike, which is a little bit easier, I think, to get those returns, especially on that big of a map.